You asked me to give you some idea of some of the ways that I use cue speech with my children, and, and particularly when they were toddlers. And I had t two profoundly deaf children um, who were both toddlers at the same time. And uh, so time was quite a, an issue. But one of the things that I found really, really helpful was I, I always cued, um, because cause I'm learning to cue at the same time, so I'm not all that fluent. I always cued a, a sp specific things that were going to happen in the day. So bedtime, going out to the park, you know, going to the clinic, all those sort of things I would I would cue very basic information about that. But one thing that, that looking back really helped was that I tried to have three sessions a day for each of the two children where what I said, um, and I would cue it so that it was clear, what I said matched what they thought I said. So that um, if I was talking about something, I'd have a picture there or um, I'd make sure they were looking at me and they were look, looking backwards and forwards to the subject. Because one of the things that's quite hard with deaf children is they, they are looking away, they run off. It's very hard to, to tie them down. And these three times when I almost manufactured a situation where I could make sure that what they saw or what they thought I was talking about matched what I was actually talking about was was enormously helpful and it really helped to build their language